The truth behind Prince William's telling off. If there's one thing Queen Elizabeth is a stickler for, it's royal etiquette. Which is why, back in 2016, Prince William received a telling off from his grandmother. The incident occurred when the royal family were gathered on the balcony of Buckingham Palace for the Trooping the Color. While the family gathered on the Buckingham Palace balcony, Prince William knelt down to speak to his son, Prince George. But as the flypast was underway, it looks like the Queen swiftly tells him to get up. Which was when Will got a telling off from the Queen. Thankfully, the sweet moment was captured for all to see. Journalist Brandon McGinley shared the clip on Twitter, writing, Come for the Queen scolding William, stay for the George face palm. Of course, as any of us would do after receiving a telling off from Grandma, especially if she's the Queen, Prince William appears to stand up straight quickly and move back into his position. This isn't the first time William has been told off by Her Majesty. During an interview for a documentary called The Queen at 90, the prince remembered an incident that landed him in hot water. He said, We were chasing Zara around who was on a go-kart, and Peter and I managed to herd Zara into a lamppost and the lamppost came down and nearly squashed her and I remember my grandmother being the first person out at Balmoral, running across the lawn in her kilt. He smiled and added, She came charging over and gave us the most almighty being, and that sort of stuck in my mind from that moment on. Prince William's secret meeting to become king. Prince William has been holding private talks regarding his future role in the monarchy. The Duke of Cambridge is said to be in talks with Kensington Palace officials as he prepares to take over from his father Prince Charles. William is heir to Charles £1 billion, approximately $2 billion AUD, Duchy of Cornwall estate and, according to Express, has met with royal aides to discuss his future with the monarchy. An entry in the royal family's official diary, the court circular, confirmed William met with the secretary of the Duchy of Cornwall and Kensington Palace on February 13. The Duke of Cambridge this morning received Mr. Alastair Martin, secretary of the Duchy of Cornwall, the entry stated. The estate, which comprises of livestock farms, residential and commercial properties, was established by Edward III, and is set across 21 southwest English counties. Royal Century editor Charlie Proctor previously told the Daily Star William is taking the necessary steps to ready himself to become Prince of Wales when Charles becomes King of England. Just like Prince Charles is preparing to become King, William is already preparing to become Prince of Wales ready for the duties and responsibilities he will have to take on, he said. As an example, William recently left his job as an air ambulance pilot to become a full-time working royal. As time goes on his presence becomes ever more important meaning he has to commit all of his working time to royal duties. He added, I think it is important to say that just like his father, William is also preparing to become king. There is no chance that William will be Prince of Wales for more than 60 years. As such, he must also learn the ropes because his time on the throne may come sooner rather than later. William recently opened up on the prospect of inheriting the estate but admitted he lacks his father's vast knowledge of the outdoors. He said, I know a tiny amount. I've got the interest and the passion. The countryside is deep in my heart. I want to learn and know more about farming, but the countryside and the way of life and the best people in the countryside is what I grew up with. I'm not a London boy. He added, my father knows so much about farming. He's in that sector and knows it so well. My interest isn't really appearing yet, but it will do in the future. 